everybody, welcome back to my next perfume review. Um, as I said in my last perfume review, the one that I did for the Eris by Paris Hilton perfume, the next couple perfumes I'm going to be featuring are going to be the perfumes that I like to use when I go to Modesto, when I go out to dinner at nice places like at Seven Sisters at the casino with my fiance, um, when me and my girls have a girls' night out, um, when I go to the movies, all that fun stuff that I can do out of town, these are pretty much the perfumes that are my go-to perfumes. So these are my babies. Um, Alright, so the first perfume I'm going to feature is the Versace Versus. This is what the box looks like, and I absolutely love the box. I think that is totally pretty. And it is an eau de toilette. This is the 100 milliliter, so this is the 3 Point four fluid ounce bottle. Um, this has an expiration or a shelf life of 36 months. Hopefully that glare is not getting at. I don't know if you can see that with the glare, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to not get the glare in there. There it is. Beep. 36 months. And I put all seasons on the bottom of the box. Real, It's really not all seasons. I put the seasons on my card with the descriptions and I want to show you that this is my one of my perfumes that are my favorites out of my collection again this is why I why this is one of my absolute go-to um, fragrances when I go out of town when I'm at dinner with my fiance or um, going out with my girls this is one of the fragrances I do go to so that's what the box looks like and then this is what the bottle looks like itself. I absolutely love this bottle. I think it is so pretty. You can see it says Versace by uh, Versus by Versace. And this is a beautiful bottle. I give this bottle a 10 for the packaging. I absolutely love it. I love the ombre effect from clear to purple. I absolutely think that is stunning. And it has gold lettering on it. And then when you take off the lid, the nozzle itself is gold too so it matches the lettering and I have heard in a couple videos that people when they have this perfume they consider this a unisex perfume too so this is another unisex perfume that you could use if you wanted to or a guy could pull this off oh this stuff smells so good it does have a very strong scent a very strong note of lemon so if you don't like lemon you probably won't like this but let's go ahead and get into what the notes are in um, Versace Verses. So the top notes include kumquat, star apple, and lemon. And that's where the lemon comes from. Mid notes include orange flower, stephanotis, rose, rose centrifugal or something like that. I have no clue what that is. It's rose, C-E-N-I-F-O. L-I-A, Centifolia or something. I have no clue what that is. If you guys know what that is, leave me a comment below and let me know what that is. Base notes include patchouli, musk, and amberetta seeds. So those are the notes that are in the Versace Versus perfume. Um, and the best seasons to wear this fragrance, this fragrance is best suited for springtime and summertime wear. And the fragrance lasting hours on this is about four to five hours before you have to reapply. And the only reason it's four to five hours is, again, because this is an eau de toilette. This is not an eau de parfum, so it's not as strong as it could be. And the fragrance projection on this, this fragrance projects, it's about, I want to say it's a light, it's a light to moderate scent so I mean if you spray on a lot of it it's gonna smell smell more strong so but what I do is I spray it on my chest and I spray once here and once here and dab 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 and that's it for the day or until I need to reapply so it's a pretty good lasting fragrance and the best time to wear this fragrance this fragrance again is very versatile you could wear this in the daytime you could wear it in the evening and you can wear it for special occasions so this fragrance is very versatile you can get away with wearing this pretty much any time that you want to and for my conclusion for this fragrance this fragrance is getting an 8 out of 10 because I absolutely love it and it is one of my absolute favorites 
of my collection. So again, on my collection, or on the next, the next perfumes that I feature, none of these fragrances are going to be getting lower than an 8 rating. So all these are going to be pretty high up there on my rating scale. So this is an 8 out of 10, definitely. So I really hope you guys like my fragrance review for Versace Versus. And if you haven't tried this and you don't know if you'd like it or not, you can try the Rollerball. I don't know where you can find it. You might be able to find it on eBay. You could try something small before you commit to this. This I bought at TJ Maxx. I wasn't able to smell it before I bought it, so it was a blind buy. But I do not in any way, shape, or form regret buying this. So, But I definitely suggest this if you want to try a new perfume. Alright guys, I hope you liked my review. I'll be back with the next couple ones. Bye!